Hello everyone, welcome to Electronics Workshop. Today, we are here with another awesome video. In this video, we will be talking about how we can interface C502 or C503 capacitive fingerprint sensor with Arduino. So, without any delay, let us go through the video. This video is sponsored by All PCB. It is the fastest PCB manufacturer with best quality. You can get different free PCB coupons by registering with my promo code, which is present in description box below. You can get different offer and discounts by ordering your project PCB from All PCB. So, don't be delayed to be registered and become a regular customer of All PCB. Fingerprint sensor module captures, stores, and matches the user's fingerprint. It is generally used to give access control to user or to determine their presence. We all are familiar with R305 and R307 optical fingerprint module. But due to many disadvantages of optical fingerprint sensor, today we will be looking after capacitive fingerprint sensor. The optical fingerprint sensor directly clicks the digital image by lighting a bright light in your fingerprint. The optical sensor captures a fingerprint image first, and captured image is then post-processed to enhance quality and make it usable for the algorithm. Figure 1 shows how the light source reads the fingerprint. After reading the information it is passed to image sampling and processing circuitries, a capacitive fingerprint sensor uses a grid of tiny capacitors that store electricity, which is discharged only at the points where your fingerprint ridges touch. A capacitive fingerprint sensor recognizes your finger by using human conductivity, creating an electrostatic field, and creating a digital image based on the electrostatic field. Once captured, the processor linked to the sensor analyzes the digital image to look for distinctive and unique fingerprint attributes. To go into more detail, the capacitive fingerprint scanner uses tiny capacitor array circuits that track the detail of a fingerprint. It uses the ridges of your fingerprint that is placed over the conductive plates which changes the charge stored in the capacitor. Now, let us go to the connection diagram of C502 fingerprint sensor. It consists of six pin in total, which is indicated by different color coding wires. The red wire, white wire and black wire are used to power up the sensor. And the remaining wire are used for data communication. We must provide 3.3 volt to 5 volt power in both red and white wire. On other hand, black wire represents ground. Here, yellow indicates TX wire whereas green indicates RX wire. In the connection diagram section we see how we can interface our capacitive fingerprint sensor with Arduino. Red and white wire are connected to 5 volt pin of Arduino. Black wire is connected to ground of Arduino. Similarly, the yellow color TX wire is connected to D2 pin of the Arduino, and green color RX pin is connected to D3 pin of the Arduino. It follows UART communication protocol between the controller and fingerprint sensor. The blue wire is used for interrupt and is not connected in our case. Coming to most important part of our project, that is programming. We must keep consideration of different things which is explained in step-by-step -step process in this video. First of all, you need to open your Arduino IDE, and we must go to Tools and Manage Library to see whether we have installed Adafruit Fingerprint Sensor Library or not. If you have not installed it, type Fingerprint in the search icon and you will get the result with different library. You must install the library provided by Adafruit, which is shown in the top. If you have already installed this library, you must update it. The update icon will be shown in the place of install when you make a search for this library. Once the installation is done, we must look for the code. The code of this project is provided in my website, and the link of my website along with the link of this project is provided in the description of this video. 
You can also directly go to my website by typing www.electronicsworkshops.com and go for capacitive fingerprint sensor to go through this project. At the bottom of this page, you can get the all the coding detail of this project. Here, you copy all the code of your enroll section and paste it in your Arduino IDE then. Compile your code first to see whether there is error in the code or not. Once the code is compiled, check your board and port and upload the code to your Arduino board. Now open your serial monitor to see the results and also to enroll your finger. Once I open my serial monitor, I can see this interface, where I must provide any unique ID to save my fingerprint. I have provided 9 in this case. Now, you must press your finger in your fingerprint sensor. Remove it and again re-press the same finger. Finally the fingerprint data is stored in ID 9. After then, just go below the Enroll section to Fingerprint. Copy all the code from the Fingerprint section and paste it in Arduino IDE. And compile the code. And upload it to Arduino board. After done uploading, open your serial monitor to see the results. Press the same finger, and it's showing the finger is matched with ID 9, and, fingerprint LED is blinking with purple light. If I press any unregistered finger in the sensor, the LED is blinking with red color. This video is sponsored by All PCB. It is the fastest PCB manufacturer with best quality. You can get different free PCB coupons by registering with my promo code, which is present in description box below. You can get different offer and discounts by ordering your project PCB from All PCB. So, don't be delayed to be registered and become a regular customer of All PCB.